Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Champion Cycle. On this episode, we're answering one of our subscribers' questions. We had a question from Mr. Joe about balancing beads, and he asked us to do a video on balancing beads, and then explain to you guys how they work, and kind of show them getting installed. So why would you use beads over using these weights over here? So the thing with the beads is, the beads are constantly rotating with your wheel. So as your wheel is rolling, and constantly rotating through centrifugal force, these beads will always be rolling with you and finding the heavy spot and staying with it. You can see, even at low RPMs, the uh, bottle wobbles quite a bit, representing an imbalance in your tire. Now, if we take that same bottle off, add one ounce. Now when we take off, there's an initial a little bit of wobble, but once it gets to speed, you can see it's running nice and smooth. You can even slow down and the beads stay distributed and maintain balance even at the lower speeds. We have this motorcycle here, it's a Honda Shadow. Uh, we're actually gonna be doing a wheel-to-wheel -wheel on that same Honda Shadow uh, in the coming days. So you guys will get to meet the owner and uh, and see the bike and you know tell you all about it and all that good stuff. Uh, but for this episode here, we'll stay focused on the balancing beads. Uh, stay with us guys, we're replacing his tire with the brand new sticky icky icky Dunlop here. Uh, we'll throw some balancing beads in it and we'll see if she balances out and we'll We'll chit chat about it. Stay with us guys. All right guys, so there you have it. The wheel has now been assembled. The tire is installed on the rim. Uh, so now we're gonna open up our pack of counteract balancing beads. Uh, when you open up the package, you'll find you've got your little tube where you put the balancing beads. You've got a little hose where you connect right to your valve stem there with the Schrader valve removed and you go ahead and you just shake and shimmy and squeeze all the little balancing beads down into the into the valve stem. Do you know how long it would take you to squeeze balancing beads through that little opening? Like, ain't nobody got time for that, as the internet says. So we're gonna take a little cheater shortcut like how we have our tire machine and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my sidearm right here trusty sidearm bead breaker extraordinaire and i'm going to break the bead on this rim and i'm going to well the bead's not set because we changed the tire as you guys recall so i'm just going to push the bead down so that it opens up the wheel enough for me to just dump all the beads my heart desires inside that tire and is it the whole bottle for one tire it pretty much how it works no there's different ounces and you'd put the right weight for the front and the white weight for the wheel yeah and there's also different weights for different style of bikes cruisers would take one size gotcha. a sport bike would take another size a moped would take a different out rating ounce rating right this kit actually comes with special schrader valves if you can see it here these special little schrader valves right here that are meant to take the balancing beads abuse from beneath as you can see here in the bottom of the actual Schrader valve, there's kind of a protector cap mm -hmm. that protects the valve from being actuated while the balancing beads are rolling around. They're not smacking the valve and setting the valve to let air out. And then of course you get your little beauty special balancing beads counteract uh, valve caps to let everybody know what's going on under the hood. Um, yeah, man, we'll get this going. Oh, let's not forget our favorite, some beauty, good old fashioned propaganda. You know, we love our motorcycle propaganda. So we'll go ahead and get these beads installed and then we'll show you guys uh, what she's doing. All right guys, so as you saw, we went ahead and did the change there. We got our balancing beads installed. We got our counteract balancing bead Schrader valve. We got our new Dunlop sticky icky icky tire. Uh, now what we did is we brought the tire over to our static balancing unit. As you guys saw beside the tire machine, we have our fancy Smanshee electronic balancer, but sometimes, and most of the time, actually the good old fashioned static balancer 
just works the best, works the fastest. I mean, you can't fake in full gravity. So now we're gonna show you how these counterbalancing beads work. Now, keep in mind, I'll bet you my money says that these counterbalancing beads will not work static balancing. They have to be dynamically balanced. So we're gonna rotate the wheel. So right now, the, all the beads have fallen down to the bottom of the wheel. So the bottom of the wheel is the heavier spot. So we're gonna test this theory. I'm gonna move this heavier spot, which is the bottom, up to the top. I'll bet you that this wheel stays exactly the same because the beads are gonna stay on the bottom. So the heavy spot will always be where the beads are, which in our case, obviously, via gravity, it's gonna be at the bottom. So I'm gonna rotate this wheel. Here's my thumb holding the spot. Nice 180. We're gonna let it go. And as you can see, the wheel's not rotating because the balancing bead is, they're all there. They're all down at the bottom. So now let's do something else. Let's move it. This is halfway. We're gonna move that down there. And I just heard the bead slide down. So as you saw my finger, I'm gonna let go. And as you guys can see, obviously it's gonna roll a little bit at a time, but it's gonna settle. It'll roll back and forth a couple times and then it'll settle down there. Now, what this is proving is that the balancing beads will in fact always go to the heavier spot. Mind you, in our case, it's kind of impossible to show you guys because static balancing, it's always gonna go to the bottom because that's, I mean, gravity is gravity. Um, so these counterbalancing beads are not meant to balance via static balancing. They're meant to be balanced via dynamic balancing. Uh, it's two different types of balancing. Dynamic meaning when the wheel is rolling and you're riding down the road, it's balancing. If you guys take a listen, I'll kind of be quiet for a second and take a listen. You guys can actually hear the balancing beads chug, chug, chugging along in the wheel. Okay guys, that was it. This wraps up this episode of Champion Cycle. Um, this episode was for one of our viewers and subscribers. Uh, his name is Joe. This shows you how the balancing beads kind of work in a nutshell. Um, shows you how we install them in the wheel. Um, we're actually installing them on his bike exactly. Um, stay tuned guys for the wheel to wheel on this Honda Shadow Metric Cruiser. Uh, stay with us guys, we've got lots more coming up. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and support us. Uh, we'll support you guys back uh, in the near future. Stay tuned for lots of giveaways and other good stuff coming your way. Thanks guys. Hold me right there, he's our number one fan. We don't know a fan. He was trying yo, to come down for you guys. I got but... you on the freaking live. Yeah, oh, yo, go. yo. Welcome, boy. Champions like bro. Let's go, yo, buddy. subscribe to the YouTube channel. You don't subscribe. You didn't oh, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Look at you. You don't get nothing. No. Where is it? Prove it. Prove it. It's just going to prove he's a subscriber. For real? You don't believe me? I don't believe you. What are you talking about? <laughs> he's gone. Lies. Bro, you just, I just subbed for you right now. You don't even care about social distance, do you? All Bruh. the time, the same thing. I know, I know. You don't care. Bro, it's because I'm Asian. I'm already diseased and shit. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fucking. What's this song? Don't Yo, close see, me. you're afraid of me. Yo, look, look, subscribe it. Look. I am. Fine, I'll give you a t shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>